hello, hello. It is day 52. 53? Oh no. I'll look on the thing and tell you. But it's day 51 or 52. And yesterday's video was um, quite amazing. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Antique Alicia. I'm the CEO and founder of Your Own University. And this is a glimpse into my own university. And just, I want to share with you some of the beauty here in Alaska right now. We're losing daylight, so it's getting dusk. Um, today was quite amazing. So I busted through that fear. I sent texts and mailers to my friends and my community and was received with love and huge tears happened multiple times today of just gratitude that everything that is happening in Divinely You, my nonprofit, is, is happening. This morning's word was action. I think that was the action I was to take and that was the place I was supposed to step into. It wasn't easy. But I've heard many, many times over that in action is where God meets us, where spirit meets us. And when I look at my life and reflect on it, it's the truth. And oftentimes it's the action that we're most afraid of, whether it's because we're in fear of rejection or we're in fear of not being understood or we're in fear of simply what if it happens and I have to step into this next evolution of self what will I do then what will I do then and this is where the piece of writing out your vision that so many people talk about I, mean, I haven't yet had a teacher a coach a mentor that didn't ask this whether I was forming my uh, very first business um, myself where I was doing hair in college um, they said well who do you want to work with what do they look like who are they right um, whether I was forming my first business at twist yoga my true business we needed a business plan you needed a vision and so those are very, very important, but oftentimes we really limit it to our businesses or to our, our wants and we don't take it into the day. And this is where this practice that you can get to right below and join me here with is so important and so beautiful because when you set intention to take action you walk through this process and as I'm making these videos I'm really realizing this process and it is emotional and it is scary at times it is beautiful and it is rewarding and it is conscious and it is truth and when you set an intention every day of what you want that day to look like what you want your business to look like, what you want your clients, your feelings, your customers, your boss, your environment to look like, then you set an expectation for yourself to live into your own vision. And that is where magic happens. I truly believe that. Your crap does come up. And when your crap comes up, oftentimes we go, oh, I don't want to deal with with my crap and I was just having a conversation with a friend about this like I don't want to deal with my crap therefore I'm just going to avoid it well it never works we never get to avoid our crap it just comes up again and it gets stronger and stronger and stronger and more in your face until you own it and the funny part is is not always as I reflect right now not always is the crap negative like we think crap is negative, but sometimes the crap is owning your stuff. And I just want to stand up and talk about this for a second because this is the juice of it. This beginning of the year, I was like, okay, I need to take 
this vision, this mission to a different level. I'm ready to step into a different level. I had the team, the support, I had the coach. I have gone through the business things. I've done everything I could in my power, so I thought, to step into really believing in, in this mission, in this purpose, in the six personal power zones and everything. I had worked with people. I had market tested. I'd done, it. I'd done everything right, quote unquote, right. However, I hadn't yet really seen my work in action. And I was given opportunity to do that for a long time. I was given the opportunity to see the power and the joy and the bliss that it brought. And I thought that I got it. I was feeling it on every level of my life. I was feeling it, I was owning it to the best of my ability at that time. But it took a very severe circumstance for me to own how moving and how blissful life could be when we get out of our own way and we trust in our own self-worth and our own value. And I'm not talking about something that you produced or did. I'm talking about simply being alive and knowing who you are and trusting in your own value. We all have value. Every person has value. Everything has value. The birds, the plants, the view, the essence. We all have purpose. You know? And so, how do you own that for yourself? It's a very good question to ask yourself. How do you own your own value? What is your value? I believe that your value is being you. And when you know yourself, then no matter what circumstance you go through, you can take a bit more of that value and bring it into the world. And so, to avoid the big hiccup like I had this year, to avoid the slap in the face, it's really stepping in and having courage to say yes to your life, yes to you, and then rocking it out with action. And I believe that begins with vision and intention. So my challenge for you today, tonight, is to write out your vision of tomorrow and what you want tomorrow to look like for you. And then, like a business plan, kind of, if you're a business person. <laughs> and just for you, though, and see how that turns out. And I'd love to hear about it. So you can leave comments below. You can subscribe to this page. You can go to my page, AntiqueAlicia.com, and say, hey, I'm here. I've been watching these. Um, and tell me about it and tell me what happens in your vision because it's fun to share it with people that get it right and I get it um, so that is my glimpse into my day huge gratitude thank you so much for your support for your love for believing in me and believing in everybody and their worth because that's what we're here to do we're here to really acknowledge each other as well. Love you much. Bye.